mtani teng na yesu mokozi wangu ni kitu gani kitani teng na yesu mokozi wa ni kitu gani kitani teng na baba mokozi wangu ni kitu gani kitani teng na baba mokozi ukamani uchovu kabisa nimekata kabisa kama ni uongo kama ni uchawi ni kitu gani kitani teng na baba mokozi wangu ni kitu gani kitani teng na baba mokozi wa ni kitu gani kitani teng na yesu mokozi wangu ni kitu gani kitani teng na na yesu mokozi wangu kama ni macho kabisa nimekata kabisa kama ni uchawi kabisa nimekata kabisa kama ni uongo kabisa nimekata kabisa ni kitu gani kitani teng na baba mokozi wangu ni kitu gani kitani teng na baba mokozi wangu okay i'm going to sing another song again Yesu tuko hapa Yesu tuko hapa Yesu tuko hapa tuko hapa kwa ajili yako In short the song says Jesus We are here Jesus we are here Jesus we are here we are here for you in short because of you Jesus that's why we are here um and then Did my sister sing miracle worker today? Sister Anna, did you sing miracle worker? No. Okay, I'll sing it really quick. Miracle worker. Miracle worker. Come and do a miracle. Miracle today. Come and do a miracle. Miracle today destiny changer you are destiny changer come and change a destiny destiny today come and change a destiny destiny today your name is yahweh your name is yahweh you are miracle working god your name is yahweh whoever knows the no the song please join me i forget your name is yahweh your name is yahweh you are miracle working god your name is yahweh powerful healer powerful healer Come and heal so powerful powerful today come and heal so powerful power to powerful today your name is yahweh your name is yahweh you are miracle working god your name is yahweh your name is yahweh your name is yahweh you are miracle working god your name is yahweh you are a marriage fixer you are a marriage fixer come and fix our marriages marriages today come and fix our marriages marriages today your name is yahweh 
Your name is Yahweh. You are miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Thank you so much. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Thank you so much, sis. Both of you, you have done well. What a mighty God we serve. Indeed, it's the marriage fixer, it's the problem solver, it's the answer. That's why I love to call it, to sing this song, to me, which he says, Jesus, we are here, we are here for you. I have no Power of my own, Holy Spirit of the Lord, I confess to you, I have no power of my own, power of my own. I have no power of my own, Holy Spirit of the Lord, I confess to you, I have no power of my own. Use me, Lord. Use me, Lord, as a vessel. Use me, Lord. Use me, Lord. Use me, Lord, as your vessel for your Sing with me, use me, Lord. Use us, Lord, as a vessel. Use us, Lord. Use me, Lord, as a vessel to bring you home. Sing with me. Use me, Lord. Use me, Lord, as your vessel. Use me, Lord. Use me, Lord. Use me, Lord. As a vessel for your glory. Beloved, let us say thank you, Jesus, as you ask him to use you as a vessel. Say thank you, thank you to Jesus. him. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You can thank unmute you. if you feel like you say thank you thank to him. So much, thank him Jesus. for the life he has given you. Thank, you. thank, thank him for your day. children. Thank, thank him for the work he has given you. Thank you for all he has done. Thank him for choosing you. Thank, thank you, him Lord. for waking you, you up for all that you have as an individual, for the battles that he fights on your behalf. Thank him for the air you breathe in and thank out. You, Lord, thank him for making you be able to see this day. Thank him 
Thank him for the problem that you do not have. Thank him for what he does and what he will continue doing. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your Son, Jesus, that he shed his own blood for our sake. Thank you for the life you have granted unto us. Thank you for bringing us this far. Thank you for seen and unseen battle that you fight every day. Thank you for the free gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the joy that you have granted us. Thank you, Jesus, for the free gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for writing our names in the book of the living. We thank you, Jesus, for what you are doing and what you continue to do. Thank you for all the service in our life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please join me as we ask for his mercy. The Bible says, all of us, we have sinned against him. Ask him for mercy on behalf of your children, family members, people. In any way you know, just confess. The Bible says, if we confess our sins, he will forgive us. Lord, prepare me to be your sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving, with living. Sanctuary for you. Lord, prepare me to be your sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. We thanksgiving, we the living sanctuary for you. Father, prepare us all to be your sanctuary. We have sinned against you, only against you. Our ways are not pleasing. Have mercy on us, O God. We have sinned against you, only against you. Everyone lies to his neighbor. There is no truth in us, O God. All we ask is for your mercy. Have mercy on us, son of David. For we have sinned in our conversation. Sanctify our spirit. For we know, O oh God, if we have kept iniquity in our heart, when we pray, you will not hear us. Father, it is our cry, sanctify our heart. Release our heart from bitterness, grudges, and malice. In Jesus' name, I want you to join me and release your heart because the Bible says something that blessed are the pure in a the heart, they will see God. Which means if a heart is not pure, you cannot see God. In the name of Jesus, ask Jesus to release your heart. Maybe you are holding someone hostage or someone you are holding a grudge against a brother or a sister. Forgive them. Forgive someone so that our prayer can be accepted. Blessed are the pure in heart. Open your heart mouth. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you surrendering our hearts to you. For we understand that blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. The Bible says in Psalms 66, 
Psalm 6, 6. He said, verse 18, If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. If we regard iniquity in our hearts, God will not hear our prayer. So it is a time for you to check your heart. The state of our heart matters. So if you hold someone in your heart, God will not hear you. We are going to a very time whereby we read the Bible. The state of our hearts, release somebody, forgive someone. Maybe you have quarreled with somebody. Maybe someone has offended you in one way or the other. In, please ask God to forgive that brother. Ask God to touch your heart that you may be able to forgive that sister. Praise God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we surrender our hearts to you. We are not worthy to bow. We are men with obscene lips. In sin, our parents conceived us, and us we are more. It is our cry, have mercy. Forgive those who have wronged us, and those who we have wronged touch their heart to forgive us. We release our heart from bitterness. Release your heart from offense. Release your heart from grudges. Release your heart from malice. Release your heart. Release your heart, sister. Release your heart. Say, I release my heart from bitterness, pain of the past. Release your heart. Because the Bible says that if you I regard iniquity in my heart, God will not hear me. If we regard iniquity in our heart, God will not hear us. If if we regard iniquity, the Bible make it very well in Psalm 66 verse 18. If I regard iniquity in my heart, God will not hear me. Release your heart. Sanctify our heart from every iniquity. Sanctify our heart. Any root of sin in our hearts be broken in the name of Jesus. Be uprooted. In the name of Jesus. Negative thought. Out in the name of Jesus. Disbelief and doubt. Out in the name of Jesus. Worries and curse. Out in the name of Jesus. Immorality. Out in the name of Jesus. Grudges and malice. Out in the name of Jesus. Continue to pray. Command it out. Command it out, command it out, that bitterness, out in the name of Jesus, that offense, out in the name of Jesus, out in the name of Jesus. Bible says if you do not forgive others, also God will not forgive. Release them, forgive them. In the name of Jesus, you heart. Be released in the name of Jesus. You heart be open in the name of Jesus. Say, I release my heart from bitterness and offenses. Pain of the past, I release myself. Release yourself. I release those you have hold hostage. I release them. I release them. Release them now in the name of Jesus. Say, my heart, hear the voice of God. My heart, hear the voice of God. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. Say, I listen to the voice of my heart. Because my heart is controlled by the Spirit of God. I listen to the voice of my heart because my heart is controlled by the Spirit of God. Sin power over me be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Father, we commit the gathering in your hands. Lead us in all truth. Spirit of the living God, glorify Jesus in our midst. We decrease, may you increase. We dishonor ourselves, may you be honored. Father, as you are promised to heal, stretch your hand to heal, to deliver, and to set captive free. Stretch your hand to bless, to change lives, transform destinies, transform lives, to elevate your people, to rescue them, just like during your earthly ministry, Lord Jesus. The Bible says, all that were present and possessed, they were all set free. And those who were sick, whoever touched hem of your garment, they were all healed. Those who were poor had good news, and those who hunted food, they were able to be fed. Give us the same grace today. During your earthly ministry, the blind eyes opened. The lame were able to walk, and even the dead were able to rise again. Give us the same grace today in the name of Jesus. Take more of us and give us more of you. More of you, Jesus. Lead us in all truth as we cover the forum in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. For he has done what no man could ever do. Thank you, Jesus, for your favor. Well, once again, you are highly welcome, beloved. It is a privilege for us to gather in the presence of God. It's just to honor the, it's just a honor. It's what a blessing to be in the house of God. Yeah, let us quickly see what the Lord has to say in the book of John, chapter 5, from verse 21. If we can have a volunteer in the reading. I have no other good but you. You have done. Bible, oh, Sister Irene, you want to read? Yeah. John 5. Okay, thank you. Our reading today, can, can somebody write it down for others? John 5 from 21. Please, if somebody can write it. Okay, it says, For just as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, even so the Son gives life to whom? He is pleased to give it. Moreover, the father judges no one, but has entrusted all judgment to the son, that all may honor the son just as they honor the father. Whoever does not honor the son does not honor the father who sent him. Very truly, I tell you, whoever hears my word and believes him, who sent me has eternal life and not be judged, but has crossed over from death to life. Very truly, I tell you, a time is coming and has now come when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to judge because he is the son of man. Do not be amazed at this. For a time is coming when all who are in their graves will hear his voice and come out. Those who have done what is good will rise to live. And those who have done what is evil will rise to be condemned. By myself, I can do nothing. I judge only as I hear. And my judgment is just for seek, not to please myself, but him who sent me. 31. 
if I testify about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who testified in my favor. And I know that his testimony about me is true. You have sent to John and he has testified to the truth. Know that I accept human testimony, but I mention it's that you may be saved. John was, John was a lamp that burned and gave light and you chose for a time to enjoy his light. I have testimony weightier than that of John for the work that the father has given me to finish. The very work that I'm doing testify that the father has sent me and the father who sent me as himself testified concerning me. You have never heard his voice nor seen him, his form, nor does his word dwell in you for you do not believe the one he sent. You study the scriptures diligently because you think that in them you have eternal life. These are the very scriptures that testify about me. Yet you refuse to come to me to have life. I do not accept glory from human beings, but I know you. I know that you do not have the love of God in your heart. I have come in my father's name and you do not accept me. But if someone else comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe since you accept glory from one another, but not seek the glory that comes from the only God? But do not think I'll accuse you before the Father. Your accuser is Moses, or whom your hopes are set. If you believed Moses, you believe me, for he wrote about me. But since you do not believe what he wrote, how are you going to believe what I say? And that's the word of the Lord, children of God. Amen. Thank you so much. Yeah, we start with you. Maybe one, you may want to ask or say something. Wow. God help us. Yeah, there are some things which I was saying because the uh, Bible is very interesting. Every time you read, you see something new, you have like a question in your heart. Um, Um, there's something which I saw, which uh, I wanted to comment on. Oh, it's about the death. So for sure, this thing I used to, let me take it back. This thing I used to hear or like take it as, as like a joke, but at the same time, I know like it's true. But once I read the Bible by myself with my two koro koro eyes and see like it's true. Like when God comes or Jesus comes back, the dead will rise. Uh, if you are God child, you know, you are never a sinner, you go straight to like, you will live. I don't know if, you, if that's the time you are sent to heaven. Then like, if you are a sinner, you'll be condemned. Uh, this thing I used to, I've been hearing this over and over, so I could not imagine how like the dead can rise again. And like some people, especially like this country, you know, most people, uh, even our, um, do they do that in Muslim? No. Uh, here, most people choose to be burnt because it's easier than being put in the coffin, you know? So I'm like, they already turned to ashes. Uh, they are not like their body is not together. But I also have to remember, even if it's a body, when the body is put underground, it rots and basically disappears, like mixes with the with the soil or mud or whatever. So it's same thing. Yes, I, I strongly believe when Jesus comes, the dead will be able to rise. It doesn't matter which shape, which form. But my question is for my sisters and brothers. Is there anywhere in the Bible where it says for those ones who choose, like when they die, they need to, they get burnt 
is there anywhere in the Bible which says like everybody has to be really like be put in a coffin? Or is it good for cremation, you know? So for people to be cremated. Anybody can answer me that. And um, there's something else. And do you, is it my imagination? Uh, did people, do you guys think, like people felt, people felt like Moses was more like powerful, like more powerful? Is it because Moses is from this art and people uh, knew about him? How come this group of people still, like after, after Moses telling them the Messiah is going to come, and in the Bible, it, even it has been shown, like, um, you know, like the Holy Spirit pregnanted Mary, you know, Mary, nobody pregnanted Mary. It was the Holy Spirit, which means it's God himself who put the baby there, you know. So how come, again, these people were, like, were doubting? Is it like they were listening to some of their, their teachings? and some of the teachings they weren't following because it was very clear. It was going to be the sun, like um, the sun from a, a small place called Bethlehem or something, something where Jesus was born. How come they were still like doubting Jesus? Anyway, up to now, we still like struggle. Like we see little things, we panic here and there, we struggle. But children of God, let's just unite. Let's just be strong. I know this world is rough because some things just take us back, backward or we, we do some things which we do not even like expect to do. But God is God. So long as we love him this way, we are already, we are always reading his word and following him and repenting. Um, we are good, I believe. Yes, let's fight, let's fight, sisters. I just wanna go to heaven and see those mansions. I don't wanna miss it. Who wanna stay, who wanna go to hell? Nobody. Uh, that's all, Baba, thank you. Well, amen, thank you so much. Anyone would love to answer any of the questions? Yeah, I'll say this. Thank you so much. I'll say this that when one die, if someone dies, um, whether they, they burn the body, whether they put in the coffin, it doesn't matter. Because it's already dead. We who are alive at that time, we are the one who just pressurize ourselves. And there is no way in the Bible where I believe it doesn't say that people have to be buried this way. But what I know, it is a thing of God that when God is pleased with the man, many a times people are buried in a honor. Just like you remember how you saw a recent man of God, T.B. Joshua, how he was buried. Many people came to witness his burial. Just like in the days of Jacob, the Bible tells us that when Jacob died, his son Joseph mourned for him. And even the Egyptians followed up. It was such a great mourning that I've never been there before. Almost all the officials of Pharaoh fell, follow. So it's a good thing if you are being followed on your burial. People come many. It's a good thing. But it doesn't change anything. What matters now is how we live in this life. Because it will determine our, if we have lived according to the word in this life, you have life after. In that day, it means when you rose, you rise again. If you have lived well now, if you rise again, you are going to be taken for the life in turn. But if you, you died and you now on the resurrection, you died in a sin, it means is for judgment. Now, when it comes to Moses, based on our Bibles, it have made us to understand there were many prophets, but among all the prophets, 
you can see that God was so much pleased with Moses when he led the children of Israel. The Bible says that to prophets I speak to them in dreams and vision, but Moses I speak to him as man speak to his man or to a friend, which means Moses had found favor before God. So here when you see our Lord Jesus Christ referring to them that he have, they have put hope in Moses, you know, the Israelites or the Jew, they listen so much to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So great prophets, they honor them. Moses being that he received the Ten Commandments is really honored and we really honor him. He played a really, God used him to play a very big role. Praise God. We remember him, he fed the Israelites with manna from heaven. Praise God. So he's well considered as one of the greatest prophets God used in those days. Commandment, the Bible says, you see the Bible says that the law came with Moses, the Ten Commandment, but grace and truth with our Lord Jesus Christ. So Moses is really honored and considered. Praise God. As follows to this faith. So he's really honored. Now, when it comes to the Israelites, you know, sometimes I sat down and thought of this and I realized it is only God that can make someone believe his words. Because, example, let's say our sister. You have sisters. Then one of your brother being born, okay, your firstborn in your family, he help let, let you just imagine the people who are born with Jesus Christ through Mary. For them, we don't know if their mother Mary had told them that this child, I, he, he came as a result of the Holy Ghost came upon me and I was found pregnant yet I've never been with a man. I know she told them, but you know as children, when a mother tries to tell you something special about your brother, sometimes some brothers and sisters develop jealousy. You see what happened to Joseph. When they realized that Joseph was highly loved by his father, they ended up thinking of killing him. So for such security reason, maybe mother Mary had kept this secret from the other children. The Bible tells us there's somewhere whereby they were telling him, if anyone wants to be known, he has to make himself public. Then the Bible tells us that even his own brother did not believe him. For that sake, I believe I say this. When you are born, example, you are in a particular where you grow up. You grew up. There is a child. You have grown up with that child playing with him. Then you wake up, you hear that he's the um, Messiah. It will take God grace to believe. Why? You have grown up with him, playing with him, calling him, playing with him, such things. So it is very difficult for them to, in, to uh, believe. These people, Nazareth, most of them, they saw Jesus growing up. And some of them, in the physical, they were appearing like older than him. So it was very difficult. That's why there was some time when he told them that, um, if anyone drink my blood, and eat my flesh. So that statement say, ah, how can you tell the people that they say, ah, this, we don't know, we know his father Joseph, and we know his mother Mary and his brother. How can he tell us that he came from heaven? So it was something difficult to believe. So even when you look around like us, it is only God's grace that have touched us able to believe the things of God because the way they appear. The Bible tells us that they sound like foolishness. Example, you go to the doctor, he tests you and he tells you, you have a particular sickness or you have a particular disease or a virus. Then you come here, I tell you that, ah, if you believe, I will pray for you and the virus will go. At first you will say, are you really okay, Ibrahim? Doctor have tested me and say, I have, let's say HIV. How can you tell me that I should just, you will pray for me? It is sound funny. These are the challenges even we encounter when we go outside to preach the gospel. 
You are telling people things of God. I have given sometimes people, they say, let me read. When they read the Bible, they don't understand. They say, but I don't understand. Then I understand. Jesus says something that the word of God, it seems like parable to other people. So for that sake, I will say it takes God grace for someone to believe and to understand the scriptures. So when it comes to Moses, indeed, it's a special person that God used in those days. But it doesn't make him prominent than Jesus. All of us, no one can be compared to Jesus. Because Jesus was there from the very beginning. Praise God. I don't know if I have made some more, I have brought some more light in what you wanted to know, sister, before we, I dig in deeper. Praise God. Well, yes, Baba, you answered very well. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sis. Now, I will say this. Listen to what Jesus, these were the words of our Lord Jesus Christ himself, he said. At first, he made us to understand that the Father loves the Son. And because he loves him, he show, he show him everything. This shows that if God loves a, a person, he will reveal himself more to the person. And how can this happen? Basically, I have realized that the more you have the love, if you say you love God, you will give reverence to his word. And I have realized that the more you reverence the word of God, the more the spirit of God will be released to you. Meaning, the more you stand in honor, in reverence to the word, is the more the Spirit of God will be released. As you take a step to obey a particular part of the Bible, the more you obey, the more the Spirit increases. The more you obey, the more you obey. So the more you obey the Word, the more the Spirit is being released to you and I. So our reverence, the more we reverence God, the more we'll experience Him more. Because if you say you love God, it means you spend time and read His Word and not just reading but you obey what you have read. The more you obey, it is just, obeying is like you do God's will, meaning your will doesn't really matter anymore. That's why, you see, according to Jesus, he being, in a, when he came as a man, he showed us example that when him he came, he did not come to do his own will, but he came to do the will of the Father who have sent him. And that's why God loved him so much, because Jesus did not do anything of himself, but he did everything according to his Father's will. And he expects us to do the same. That's why, you see, we have been given the Holy Spirit, so that he can help us to do or to know the will of God. And we can only know the will of God the more we study the Bible and meditate upon it. Praise God. I have realized that the more you read the Bible, meditate on what you have read, automatically your behavior, your character, and your conduct will change. Praise God. Yeah. So the more you read the Bible, you meditate it, the more you meditate on the Word, you'll find yourself obedient, obeying the Word. And once you start obeying, if you are a thief, you will always remember, those shall not steal. You will not steal, which means you are pleasing God. So it's very important. But we are living in the land where people, a generation where people know the Bible, but they are not really obedient. Some of us, we read the Bible to teach. Some of us, we read the Bible to preach. Some of us, we use the Bible to defend ourselves, but we don't really do what the Word asks. Praise God. That's why James said to us, it's like seeing yourself in the mirror, and you, don't, you forget how you look before. It means... When you read the Bible and you don't do anything, you are just wasting time. It's just like when you come to the Bible study and you don't try to learn something. It's all a waste of time. So, I will say this, as I go through, there is something I will have to ask, I want us to know. This portion of the Bible, if you look around, it doesn't really mean non-believer. I always take it, it means to us who are present. Because we are living in the generation, there is where Jesus said, you that seek honor after each other. We are living a life whereby if somebody, I will want you to honor me, 
I will want you to speak good about that is not what Jesus expects of us. I'm supposed to seek God to honor me. You are supposed to seek God to honor. But nowadays, we want to honor each other. Praise God. Listen, let us go through it. You see, the Bible says, Jesus said, For us the Father raises up the dead and quicken them, even so the Son quicken whom he will. As God raises the dead, even Jesus still raises the dead. Whoever he wants. Even at this point of time, Jesus can raise anyone even before waiting for the resurrection. We witness this. We have seen time and number. We have heard God have used someone to raise the dead. And he have made such promises. In this gathering, you will hear somebody dead have come alive again. Praise God. So you will hear it and you will see it and you will testify about it. Praise God. So as he will, which means somebody may be dead and God, Jesus, if he's pleased, that man will come back alive. Praise God. Listen, for the father judged no man, but had committed all the judgment unto the son, that all men should honor the son, even as they honor the father. He that honors not the son, honors not the father, which has sent him. Now, this is where I want you to see. The Bible tells us here that God is no longer judging anyone. He has decided to give all the work of judgment to his son, Jesus Christ. And what a blessing. Because Jesus is all merciful, forgiving, patient. That's why you see people like us, we can still... Because... Jesus is not in rush to judge us. If Christ was to judge us, none of us will be able to stand. But because he's merciful, to an extent whereby he came and died for us, so he's always giving us a room. If Jesus is not interested in judging us, exposing our weaknesses, then we should not also be in rush to judge people and excess, um, expose them. Praise God. We should not be in rush of pointing fingers. So, we know very here now it makes us understand that all judgment, it is in the hand of Jesus. So, if all our judgment is in the hand of Jesus, whom we believe, which means we have advantage because we are believing him. So, what we have to do is that we should try as individual to say no to what is Jesus saying no, and to say yes to what he says yes. The Bible says to us that, Jesus, uh, uh, the Bible says that all men, should, why God did that, that all men should honor the Son uh, as they honor the Father. And he that honors not the Son, honors not the Father, which I have said, which means if anyone do not honor the Son, who is Jesus Christ, his same as is not honoring the Father who have sent him. This is what I want to say. It's really challenging to many non-believers. Because I have heard in an instance whereby if you tell people Jesus is the son of God, they pick offense. Even they see that you need to silent, to be quiet. But here now the Bible says, such individuals that do not honor the son, they are in, there is a, a big trouble. It means that whoever do not honor Jesus, he have not honored God. Why? Jesus was sent by God himself. That's why you see, everything Jesus did or said, he said only the words of his father. Praise God. The Bible says, he said to them, uh, when John, when they were questioning him, he said, as I hear, that's what I say. Praise God. So, it is very important for everyone to honor Jesus. Listen. Because if you do not honor him, it means you have not honored the one who has sent him. An example, you send your daughter to somewhere. So if people, those you have sent to, they listen to her, it's same as they have listened to you. If they do not listen to her, it's same as they have not listened to you. Praise God. So it's the same here with our Heavenly Father and His Son, Jesus. He committed all the work of judgment in the hand of the Son so that people can honor the Son. When you honor the Son, it has the same you are honoring the Father. 
Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my words and believe on him that sent me hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Now you hear that whoever hears the word of our Lord Jesus Christ and believe, it means he believe on him who have sent him, who is the heavenly father have sent Jesus. And he said, and such has everlasting life, which means as we believe Christ, everlasting life is waiting us. But there is something I want you to see. Not just believing Jesus in our mouth. I'm a Christian. I go to church. I am a preacher. No. Believing requires action. If I believe God to heal me, it means I have the way I do things after my prayer, it testifies that I have really believed that I'm healed. Example. I believe God that it will it will not rain. Then, because I believe it will not rain, I wake up, I go outside without carrying an umbrella. I believe it will not rain. But if I do not believe, this is whereby I have prayed, after prayer, God help me that it should not rain. And as I'm going out, I carry my umbrella, meaning in case it rain. That one I've already nullified my prayer. So it's the same thing like many of us here. You ask God to restore, let me use marriage. You say, God, I want you to save my marriage. After you have believed that God, amen, I believe, thank you for saving my marriage. After something happened, you start saying negative things concerning your marriage. I think this marriage will not work. I don't like this marriage. It is already nullified. It shows that you are disbelief. Because if I believe God to save my marriage, no matter what happened, I believe God is working, answer, fixing my marriage. Just like a pregnant woman. Okay, a barren, a woman that has been considered as pregnant, a uh, barren. She believed that she had prayed God to give her a child. Then, such a woman who believed will continue trusting God that to one, even when she prays, say, God, I, I need a child then I thank you, believing that I will have a child. But if she do not believe, from that one she will go and start trying to fix her own way to have a child like our mommy Sarah did. She at first believed waiting on God to give her Isaac. But afterwards she said that, ah, I think it is impossible, I'm very old, my husband is old, I think it's better, let this my husband have another wife and I have a child. That was a sign for her for disbelief. And many of us are in such a challenge. We try to make a way to help God. But I'm here to let you know, based on my personal experience, I have realized, God, he never lies. If he tell you I will do something, he will make it happen. Sometimes he may not really tell you how he'll do it. But I tell you, if you continue trusting him, you will see it happen. Praise God. Listen, I want you to have faith like Moses had. Moses was standing in front of Red Sea behind him, Pharaoh. But he strongly believed by raising hand. And when he lifted his hand towards the Red Sea, the way came. If God was able to make a way for Moses across Red Sea, I believe he will make a way for you. Praise God. Listen, Jesus says here said here that that the one who believe in the words of him who have sent him he will have a life everlasting and shall not come into condemnation which means he will not face condemnation and they shall live forever listen for us the father Okay. Vanly, vanly, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. 
God, uh, Jesus assured us that the time is coming whereby when everyone will hear the voice of God, of Son of God, when it's dead, will come up. Praise God. And this is the time we are in. That's why you see when we say in the name of Jesus, if something was dead, if that thing hears the name Jesus, it's, it will listen and obey. Praise God. Listen here. The Bible says, For as the Father had life, has life in himself, so are this he given to the Son to have life in himself. See how God is generous. He made his Son to be just like himself. Father himself, God, have life in himself. And he decided to do the same. Even the Son has life in himself. Listen. Then he said, He said, and has given him authority to execute judgment also because he's the son of God, son of man. Jesus has the right to execute. He's the only one who has that right. See what he says. And marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice. And shall come forth they that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil, unto the resurrection of condemnation. Now this is where I want to tell us who are listening. You hear what it says? That the hour will come, have come, will come, whereby those who are dead, when they will hear his voice, they will come out of the grave. Now this is what I want to answer. It doesn't matter how they buried you, whether they buried you in the gold, in the, they put gold full of your coffin and keep you inside. Or they buried you in the most expensive coffin. Or they do whatever, they burn your body to ashes. That one, they have done on your body. But the time will come when Jesus' voice will be heard. Everyone who have died, everyone will come up. Now these are two which I want you to see. The Bible says of which I want you Christian also to think over the here that verse 29 it says and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of domination and shall come for they that have done good unto resurrection of life. This is what I have to tell people. Many do not believe that we still have to work on what um, works. That's why you see faith without works is dead. Our good works is required. What good are you doing to your, person, to your neighbor? What are you doing good for, Christ, for the Christ's sake? It means every good work we are doing at the moment by the help of the Spirit of God, it will speak for us on that day. The Bible says that those who have died while they, are, they did good, they will rise to be to live and those who died while they were evil they will come up for judgment so the question is you as an individual which side are you are you on the side of evil people while you bear the name christian or are you on the side of good people that's why you see when we study prayer and say the state of our heart it's my prayer, my brothers, sisters, we should take this serious, that the time will come when all of us will be no more when we are dead. Now, when Jesus will, the trumpet will blow, everyone who have died, even those who died before we were born, all of us will come out. Then we come out now. Those who did good, while in faith on our Lord Jesus Christ, they will be on the right side, waiting to be rewarded. And those who died when they are evil, with their evil deeds, is judgment. So please, I pray at the moment that basically try to see that you ask God, Jesus, to expose your weakness and deliver you. Then when you realize you are, you are part, your problem, Deal with it in a sense that don't stop praying against your weakness. 
until you overcome. Maybe you are somebody who like gossiping. Pray against gossiping until you stop gossiping. Maybe you are somebody who loves to tell lies. Pray against telling lies until you stop lying. Maybe you are somebody who just hate. Pray against hatred until you start loving. Otherwise, hatred can lead you to hell. Lies will lead many to hell. It doesn't matter how you come to church because the Bible says those who have done good, which means no one will go. God will see the Father unless his heart is pure. The Bible says to us, Jesus, you remember what he said, blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. So if you and I will desire to see God, let our heart be pure. No grudges, no envy, no jealousy, all those things you can talk about. So I pray to God that all of us listening, that on that day we are coming to, to be rewarded the Bible says, listen, beloved, the Bible says here, uh, and shall come forth be, I, I can of my own self do nothing, as I hear I judge, and my judgment is just because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father which has sent me. So you can see there is something Jesus demonstrated us here. He say, as he here he judges, which means we as called the children of God. The Bible says those who are the led, led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. What means? We need to hear the Spirit of God direct us what to do and what not to do. If we are keen or if we are people who listen, it will help us to overcome everything that is not right. The Bible says, Jesus said to us that he can do nothing on his own. So also we can do nothing on our own. We know very well, even me to stand in front of you, it is just by grace of God. So I'm here to say to you, say, I judge, and as he here, that's how we judge, and my judgment is just because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father which has sent me. So which means... Whatever we do, let us try to do to please God. If I'm here teaching, I'm teaching not for selfish interest, but I'm teaching for Christ to be honored. If you are there listening, you are listening for Christ to be honored in your life. Whatever you are doing outside there, you are doing it for God's name to be glorified. Why? That's Jesus said that you are the light of the world. Let people see what? Light, your light shine. And give glory to God. What does it mean? You as a Christian, wherever you are, you are representing Jesus. In my conversation, I have to represent Jesus. Even the way I dress, it represents Jesus. The way you do things, so that people can do what? Give God glory. Listen, beloved. I would love to say this. Uh, If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another that bears witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witness of me is true. I will say this as I put an end. He, Jesus made us to understand that he, would, he came just to witness of Christ, of his Father. He came to, to bring, you know, God is invisible. He came to bring invisible God to make him visible to us. And he said that if I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another that bears witness, which means if he bear the witness of himself, his witness would have not been. But there is someone else who bear witness of him. And that's what he said. There is another that bear witness of me, and I know that wit that his witness is, which he witness of me is true. So he declared that the, the one who witnessed on his behalf, his witness is true, which is our heavenly Father. He said to them, he sent unto, he sent unto John, and he bear witness unto the truth. So I'll stop there by saying that he told them, they sent John to ask or to acquire more about him. 
and he had told them what really is, but still they did not believe. Praise God. I will stop there. What I want you to know is that based on the lifestyle of our Lord Jesus Christ, he shows us that right from the beginning when he came in the flesh, he came only to please the one who sent him. Just like when you're working under someone, you will come to carry assignment of what you have been given by that particular person. So that's what exactly our Lord Jesus Christ did. He came to say only what his father have said. What he brought, let me say, he brought heaven down. He brought God to be visible. So if it is so, and we individually claim that we are love we love jesus then let us try in everything that we do it brings him glory can be in our conversation the way we dress up the way we do things ah uh, jesus being handled the work of judgment yet he did not decide to he was not here to judge anybody remember how they brought a woman who had been caught in adultery he asked them, he said, let the first who have not seen do that. There was nobody found. Then he told the woman, even me, I'm not judging you. But do not sin. So I'm here to say to us, if Jesus did not judge us, let us not judge others. If Jesus loves us, let us love others. Praise God. If Jesus is patient with us, let us also be patient with others. Praise God. May God bless his word. We'll start there by God willing. Praise God. Any question, any word before we pray? I don't want to keep you so much. It's a weekend. Praise God. I have no Yeah, we love to pray for someone. Is there anybody willing to sing? Where is my little Ashley? Ashley, today you are going to sing. Ashley, are you there? I have no other God but you. You have done what no. Yes. Is Ashley, you go sing? Okay. Um, Sing us a song. Okay. Um, okay. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are the uh, to be praised. We give you all you are Alpha glory. and Omega. We worship you, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Thank you. Amen. Indeed. Thank you so much. You are Alpha. And Omega, Lord, we worship you. You are worthy to be praised. Indeed, it's Alpha and Omega, meaning it's the beginning and the end. It's worthy to be praised. Who is worthy of your praises? Jesus. Who is worthy of your honor? Is Jesus. Who is worthy of your good time? Jesus. Every good thing you can ever mention. Who is worthy? Jesus. Thank you so much, Sister Ashley. You will sing. What a beautiful voice. Amen. Yeah, Sister Agnes, please, we we'll love to pray for you. Yeah, thank Do you. you my son did not sleep well today. He been hearing voice time to time, time to time the whole night. He he not sleep well. And uh, when I entered his room, I could feel 
there is something inside there. There is some spirit. I could see when I entered the room, I could feel it on myself. So that is the prayer in the uh, request. And I include uh, all the family members. If anybody going through something, God can uh, hold the family hands. That is my prayer request. Yeah, I advise you, try to be anointing your son. I know you have anointing oil. Anoint, anoint. Yeah. I don't know if you hear me, my connection. Yes, I hear yeah, you. Anoint I your do son. anoint him and if this guy... every night when he sleep. I do anoint him every night yeah. when he sleep. But the thing started yesterday around uh, maybe 9, 10, something like that. So he's been struggling with sleeping the whole night. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You anoint him, and if you just sense something that is not favorable, you either mm. take salt, you put mm. water, and you smear the entire atmosphere. Demon don't like salt. You just mix salt and water, then you mm. smear, sprinkle it around, and say, blood of Jesus will sleep okay. and the atmosphere will change yeah okay spirit don't respect anybody you don't have respect sometimes you may pray you may pray but he may still look at you and laugh but once you say that this salt represents the blood of jesus then you sprinkle mm. in his bed if there is a spirit that visit him it will not come and okay. if a kind of person, if like a spirit love to, to molest him, even you go to his private part, you anoint him the entire body. There will, there will be no spirit want to sleep with him. Don't take I this do for granted. Like, uh, when you do this, mm. just, so do what I tell you. I just do... do what I tell you, it will be helping. Oh, okay. Yeah, like uh, maybe putting yeah, in the water, do what like I... uh, helping to shower, uh, to bathe him with, like he can use for bathing. Is it okay also? I do, it is not bad if what that's what inspired you from your heart. You know, whatever, the things of God are like this. Wherever you have a thought from your heart, mm. God will use it to, to glorify himself. Yeah. You see, Jacob, no one told him to what he did to get cows from Laban. So mm. whatever you do, as long as you believe in the name of the Lord, it will work. But for now, I just encourage you, whatever you see, because you know him better, you see that there is something strange, just take salt, mm. either salt with water or salt. Just get salt and sprinkle the, in this room. Yeah. Then you anoint him. If it's too much, Make sure I don't just anoint one place. You just take anoint, anoint his entire body and, and let him sleep. He will sleep. Oh, okay. Yeah, you don't really need to disturb yourself. Just do that. Yeah. Okay. Because the Bible make us understand on that past overnight that when Moses told the children of Israel to sprinkle the, oil, the blood, it really mm. works. I remember those days I used to have such kind of visitation in the room, the house. But the Holy Spirit used to tell me, wake up, take salt. So I just sprinkle the salt in the house. They no longer mm. come. Because me, it was even worse. They used to come physically. You can hear coming. Then you can see people standing. Praise God. But sometimes the Lord used to um, tell me, wake up anoint yourself so i anoint myself and i don't even bother myself and they leave mm. so being attacked said and don't have respect for anybody so do that and it will help we'll pray for you yeah okay thank you yeah we see sister don't worry don't take it for granted please you know most of the time christians you may be told by god servant something you may take it for granted, but you see those people who are in the world, they tell them 12 o'clock, wake up and do this. I tell you 12 o'clock, they will do it. So these things work. 
Yeah. Unless I don't know where they are. Yeah, yeah. So that is it, sister. We... Father, you stretch your hand, we pray for you first. Okay. Then you put your hand on your tummy. Yes, Papa, I did. Do you have, a, are you in your house or you are outside the house? I'm in. Okay, just get a little salt. Then that salt, it will represent any other salt you'll ever use. Okay. Yeah, just get another, just a little salt. When you come and tell us, you know you have got the salt. Yeah, I got the salt. Yeah, yeah just salt, just put it. You have some, put it in a bowl, like uh, something with water. Okay. The prophet of God asked and said, bring the salt, and he declared, You put together a little water and salt. <laughs> okay, I did it. And if there is anyone having the same, yeah, if there is anyone having the same challenge, please. You know, things of God, uh, when the blessing is being declared to one person, you just tap. Yeah, if you have some kind of men come and sleep with you at night you can do the same you just hold some little salt if man come and sleep with you at night you see a man sleep with you you know some of you men sleep with you but you're scared to say you cannot say it you feel ashamed don't be ashamed okay we will pray for you Dam. Yeah, yes. Cover yourselves with the blood of Jesus. I say something. Yeah, yes. Imbadam. Dam. Yeah, yes. Dam. Ya Yesu imba dam dam Ya Yesu osafisha kabisa nguvu za shetani Zime shindwa na isu na nguvu za shetani. Zime shindwa na isu na nguvu za shetani zote. Zime shindwa na isu asifi we mokozi. Nguvu za ebilis, zime shindwa na isu, na nguvu za ebilis, zime shindwa na isu, asifi we mokozi. Aleluya, aleluya, aleluya. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah, 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 Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the book of John. As the, son ha as the father has life in himself, 
He has made also the Son to have life in himself. Jesus, we have heard. As the Father quickens the dead, so you also quicken the dead. Bible is not history. It's not just a letter. It's not just scriptures. But it's your word inspired by your Holy Spirit. For you have made us understand that if we believe, even when we die, we'll still live again. Lord, if I cherish iniquity in my heart, I know you will not hear me. All I ask is for your mercy on my behalf and behalf of my sister. Satisfy us all in Jesus' name. As you, I stretch my hands towards heaven, to the heaven, heaven that surround this gathering. Let the blood of Jesus come and turn that salt and water to be blood of Jesus itself, that that came out of his rib, out of his head, out of his bone, body, out of his scars. In the name of Jesus, as Elisha said, when he was told that the water is bitter, and he said, bring me the bowl and water, then he said, that says the Lord, there shall be no barren again in the land. That says the Lord in that water and salt, whoever have done the same. Wherever that salt and water will touch is as same as the blood of Jesus. There will be no spirit will try to come near it because it have turned the blood of Jesus. And blood of Jesus is fire itself. It will touch. If the skin is dead, it will rise. It will be cleansed. Even if it fall on the blind eyes, they will open. If it stand tall in a person on a wheelchair, it will rise. Wherever that salt and water will touch, there will be sanctification. As you drop that salt in any part, it will heal just as blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I declare this very day, as you sprinkle that salt in that very room to your child and yourself, you will testify that I no longer hear, my son never hear voices, my son here sleep like a baby. My son have turned to reason like any other child. My son now is normal. Only in the name of Jesus I declare that it will go far beyond as you do it in your house. So it goes far to your family members. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. There will be no otherwise in Jesus name. Amen. Congratulations do that. Small as it is, you just keep adding, 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 and it, you will testify. Start counting the days by observing your child. If he's sleeping now, just go and smear. Then you'll come and tell us to the glory of God. Praise God. Amen. Yeah, Amen. God bless you. Sister. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. When you have pain, just tap that very salt of that water where it is. Amen. Where the pain is. Okay. And to work for you. In the name of Jesus. Thank yeah, sis Irene, please. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Irene. Sister Adut. Oh, Sister Irene, okay. Thank you. Sister Irene, okay. Yeah, um... I have a prayer request over my job. I just like lately I'm not like motivated. I'm not happy maybe because most of my friends have gone. I'm just like miserable. I'm not like excited. I don't have the joy to go to work the way I used to um, to have. So I want like God to intervene because I've started having like totally different 
like mind, like completely changing my career to something else, which I don't know. I just want God to be with me so that I can know like exactly what, like if I can just focus on my job, if you want me to do something else, I can go back to school for that. That's all. Thank you. I will pray for you. The Bible says everything happens for good. You know, you may not realize the importance of those so-called friends left. But as time goes, after this prayer, you will realize and say, I thank God those people left. Praise God. Yeah. Let us pray for you, you will see what will happen. You will realize it, I thank God. It, when God, if you need people, those you need, God will keep them around you. But if you don't need them, of course, God will find a way to take them away from you. Praise God. It happens many a times. Sometimes when God wants to lift someone high, he may decide to separate you from so beautiful, good friends. Praise God. Yeah. After this prayer, you will realize how good is it your job is. Yeah, you stretch your hand, we pray for you. Father, we thank you for our sister. For all the years I've been working in that place with good friends. I know she's worried asking herself, where did my friends go? What is happening to them? But I know, O oh God, the Bible says in everything we should say things. For there is nothing happened as a coincidence. I first commit those friends that left into your hands. Whatever they may have done wrong, I speak in their life, have mercy on their behalf in Jesus' name. O oh Lord our God, all I pray wherever they are, provide for them, bless them that they may not be jobless, so that they can continue having a good life. And what I ask, O oh God, that you stretch your my heart, hand towards them, that they know Jesus and believe him. I commit our sister, that heaviness she feels in her heart, Weakness and discouragement. I know it does not come from you. That which brings those thoughts. Right now in the name of Jesus. I said to you that is not planted by God. In our system. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. That which is not of God. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus, whatever that is not planted by God inside you, out in the name of Jesus, out in the name of Jesus, I declare you restored, the joy restored, peace and strength in Jesus' name. We pray and believe. Amen. Yeah, God will give you a dream. You come and tell us. Praise God concerning your work. Amen. Thank you, Papa. Amen. Sister Dut, please. Good morning, Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sister. Yeah. Yeah, before I have a prayer for my friend. Um, she had problem in her chest, like her chest is always painful. She went to the doctor and then they did a scan for her, but they didn't they didn't find anything on it. But she always feel the pain in it there and then even sometimes she cannot breathe properly. So I need prayer for her, Papa. And Amen. I have a testimony, sorry. Yeah, you prayed last time for uh for Jeremiah. And I thank God now he's doing well mm. better than before. Like uh, today he have like about three bottles, but he's still not sucking my breath, but that's okay. He have four bottles today and he ate food too. Like he wanted to eat food early. Well, he's just only four months. So <laughs> I give him some soup today. So wow. he was doing it. <laughs> so, yeah. So I give my way to don't start. <laughs> he doesn't want to wait for oh. my 
I just I really think you're not complaining of giving. Huh? I hope you're not complaining about him drinking because I, uh, you want him to drink, so I will continue to drink more. No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> I want him to have more. Okay. I will be happy. Yeah. Thank you, Papa. Yeah. No, thank you, Jesus. We thank God because I remember you told us, you'd say, ah, my son is not drinking. You are worried about him. So uh, we thank God for that. <laughs> I know Sister Susan still complain. I don't know if Sister Susan complain about his son not eating. She still. So we pray God provide for you that you continue to. <laughs> still, my son yeah. not eating. Yeah. My God is have his way. Okay, get ready for yourself. Amen. No, you want him to eat. Yeah, we are. We we are going to remind God about that so that he eats. We want Amen. to hear you testifying like a dude because if you hear that, you say, oh, what about me? And this is not a place of what about me. Amen. This is a place of thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> this is not a place of what about me. Uh -huh. Once you say what about me, Jesus also make you say thank you, Jesus. Okay. We pray for our sister. Spiritual things... If something entered somebody spiritually, must be removed, sp removed spiritually. So I want to request you touch your chest. We use you in the right side of your chest, Sister Adut. Then others, let us stretch and pray for our sister. Then after this prayer, call her. When you call her, Tomorrow, by God willing, we are meeting. Tell you will tell us that she just felt her heart and um, herself light. Praise God, because that is a sure deal. Praise God. Sorry, okay. Holy Ghost. Do it again, do it again. Open our eyes. Sister Samuel, Susan, you touch your tummy. We want to go to open the stomach of your son so that he can eat more than Jeremiah. Amen. Holy Ghost, do it again, do it again. Open our eyes to see Jesus seated upon the throne. Holy Ghost, do it again, do it again. Open our eyes to see Jesus. Seated upon the throne. Father, thank you for Jeremiah. Thank you for what you have done. As you did for Jeremiah, so I call on Susan's child that is having trouble in eating. I command that stomach to be open. Now, whatever that stops him from eating, Whoever have a child struggling with eating, I see you bring Wilma. I command in the name of Jesus, those stomach be open, those heart be open to accept food of any kind in the name of Jesus. Whatever that sit in their heart to make them not like food, I command it out right now. You and clean spirit, wherever you are in the life of the little one, right now, I command you out. Their body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, not for demon. I command you out, out of their system, out of their system, and never return. I speak in the life of their parents. They are provi provide for them that feeding their children will not be a problem. 
Since they are in God who provide, may you provide. We thank you because Susan will testify about the child. And anyone having child with this problem will testify in Jesus' name. We call on the sister, whatever wrong she may have done to leave this, knowing and knowing be forgiven. As it is written, because I have the Spirit of God, whoever I forgive is forgiven. That which is not of God in our chest, I command it out in the name of Jesus. Out that pain, out in the name of Jesus. That pain, out in the name of Jesus. Out you pain. Out you pain, wherever it is located, whatever roots be uprooted, whatever is not planted by God, be uprooted. I command in the name of Jesus, you pain, cease, whatever is in our tummy, leading to this pain, out in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hand in the name of Jesus. Be healed, be delivered, be set free in Jesus' name. Be healed, be delivered, be set free in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, Sister Adut, you reach out to our sister. I feel something in the stomach. Uh, she will visit, you tell her she will visit restroom. After she visits restroom, the pain is gone. Praise God. I hope you heard me, sister. Wait to hear you tomorrow. Sister Jane? Yes, Papa. Amen. Yes, I want to thank God. I want to thank Amen. God so, so much for the gift of life that God has given me and my children. I want to thank God Amen. for the gift that he's given to you into our life. Amen. Papa, I have Amen. really a bad, a bad dream. And I want to mm -hmm. sing to the Lord for saving my life from that dream. Come, come, to the summer, go so big, Yes, 
When I thank God, Papa, I have a really bad dream. The dream come, I wake up, it come back again. I was in my car. It looked like I came from a shopping or somewhere. I was in my car. I tried to start my car. A man came with a motorcycle, wear black pants, a black shirt with a vest, like a leather vest. He drove by and passed by front of my car. And he went and parked his motorcycle a little distance from me and walked back and stood in front of my car and turned his back to, to me. His back is facing me and the front is, and um, he turned his back to me. He's a white man. He's about like five, six foot. And he put his hand in his pocket and grabbed the gun, want to shoot me. He took, took the gun and point the gun on me. I want to start the car because my car have a camera. I want to start the car. Then I woke up. I start praying and cancel. I said, Lord, may the blood of Jesus shield this gun. Shield it a hundred times. Lord, cover me from head to toe. I'm innocent. I did not do nothing. Lord, if I done anything, have mercy on me. And I pray and pray. I went back to sleep. And I went to sleep. I fall back to sleep again. Two men, they came. We were in a, a prayer, like a chromatic prayer. We were praying and praying and praying. And you're telling us, pray, pray for your family, pray for your children, pray for your, for your extended family, pray for those whom you know, pray. And you are kneeling down and we were praying and we are praying, we are praying. And after that prayer ended, I just hugged you. I said, Papa, thank you. It was so powerful prayer today. And I was, I started leaving, going home. Three men appear again to me. He said, you, we were being higher. Today is your day. You cannot skip it, we got you. And two men have a gun. One man have a bag and said, shoot her. When she fall down, I am gonna cover her with this bag. No one will know where she is. And when this man, uh, one sat pointing, putting the bullet in the, in the gun. And one man said, my bullet is ready. And they said, when we count one, two, three, you will shoot together. And I start raising my eyes up in, up in, in the sky. And in my heart, I said, Papa, we just been in a church. Papa, come here. I can do this by myself, save my life. Then immediately you are fear. You say, hey, 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 you guys, you can't do that. No, 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 no. This is not a time. This is not a time. And you start rising your hand. Those men start falling down. They have no strength anymore. They cannot stood up. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank yeah. you for saving my life. It's Jesus. It's a message. Yeah, it's not a message. Those are not years of, of pain. Just Jesus used my image, but it's himself. It's a message to you, yeah. I know somehow Satan may try to eliminate you. But that is a victory you are supposed to rejoice whereby the prayer you have been praying for many years, God have used that to understand for you. I want you to know that actually you will not die before your time. Praise God. You will not die before you see uh, your elder son with Jacob. 
you have to sit and enjoy the wedding cake of your son Jacob and carry the, do the, the daughter of your son. You hear that? Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Just write it down today. Certain plan is to, to eliminate you as an individual. But we thank God he has shown you have victory, which means you no longer need to worry about anything. Yeah, you not die. You cannot die before your time. Praise God. And I will only say what I will live to see happen. So I want to wait to hear you send me, say, ah, Baba, you know that uh, my son uh, Jacob is getting married. Uh, do you know that they are expecting a child? Praise God. Don't Thank worry. You. God loves, yeah, God loves you so much. That's why you see at first nothing happened. Even the second time, nothing happened. So I want you to be encouraged. The Bible says to us that those who look unto God, they, can, they are like Mount Zion, can never be moved. Yes, the same Bible have made us to understand that there shall be no weapon will ever be formed against us that will ever prosper. They come in one way, but always God make them scatter in seven different ways. Your prayer for many years, it is not a waste. That's why you see, according to your dream, shows that we, you have been praying. So it is not a waste. Yeah. We'll pray for you, God, to strengthen you, to, to continue praying. You will testify, sister. <laughs> yeah. We thank Jesus for the victory. Let us hear, Sister Lubo, then we pray for you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. I greet you all. Amen. We greet you too. Brother. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Ibrahim. I want to thank God for another day, another life. I thank God for whatever I have in my life, my children. I thank God for everything. But I need a prayer request for myself. My shoulder, my left shoulder is just painful from two days ago until now. And I don't let anything heavy to make it to be painful. That's the same shoulder my mom just had a surgery in December in this left shoulder. When I rested, I was so painful, but I don't left up anything to make this shoulder to be like that. I can walk like that. I can feel like my shoulder want to broke down. I can lift it up. I can feel the pain. So I need a prayer, please. I put anointed oil on it. I pray over it, but it's still, it's still bothering me. Even I am at work now. That is bothering you. Yeah, don't need to worry. Touch that place. This week I've been seeing being used, bring healing to various way. Start that very time, that very place we pray together. The Bible make us understand that whatever we agree here on earth, it will be done for us. So we pray for our sister Jane, God to continue revealing himself to her. Praise Amen. God. Yeah. Nema, nema, nema ime funguliwa. Nema, nema, nema ime funguliwa. Nema kwa vijana, nema ime funguliwa, nema, nema, nema ime funguliwa, nema, nema, nema ime funguliwa, nema, nema, ime 
imefunguliwa nema ya kuponya wagonjwa nema imefunguliwa nema 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 imefunguliwa Use me Lord Use me Lord I save Father, in the name of Jesus, use us this very hour. Make me worthy for your call. I thank you for this time. Be glorified. We ask for your mercy. Let your mercy and favor speak for us. We commit our sister Jane at this point of time, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, whatever you redeem, you revealed is to redeem. We thank you, O oh God, for you are not a man. Every plans of enemy concerning Jen be terminated in the name of Jesus. Every thought that demon brings of assassination or destruction, they come to vain in Jesus' name. As it is written, that says the Lord to you, Jane. Surely they will gather, but it's not from me, that says the Lord. So wherever they will gather against you, they will all fall. In the name of Jesus. Every conspiracy be it in the physical or in the spiritual world, against you. I send confusion. I command your enemy, Satan, and his agents, confusion wherever they are. Let them devote themselves. I blindfold them, demon, in the name of Jesus. Whatever and whatever arrows targeted in your life, wherever they are, in the name of Jesus, they will not stand. I command every hand, evil hand, appointing upon your affairs, be paralyzed. Every evil mouth that I've raised against you, be silent. The Bible says, when the ways of a man pleases God, he make him to be at peace with his enemy. May your ways please God that he may make you be at peace with your enemy. In the name of Jesus, the name of the Lord is the strong tower that right has run to it and they are safe. In the mighty name of Jesus, as Jesus appeared in the dream, so will he continue to appear when you need him. In the name of Jesus, every word the Lord has spoken to you, which seems not existing, I cause it to happen. You have cried for many years. That says the Lord, cry no more. Cry no more. In the name of Jesus, I declare favor and peace, good health and protection. You will not lack or beg to eat 
but you'll have plenty to share in the name of Jesus. I activate favor upon you. I activate prosperity and development. Now in the name of Jesus, we pray and believe. Amen. As we bring Sister Lubo, where there is that pain, pain, cease, whatever it is, That which is not of God inside you, I command it out. Two believers are better than one. Whatever and whatever that is not of God inside you, command it out, out of your system. That pain cease, cease in the name of Jesus. I command that pain, cease. Whatever that is not of God in your hand, I command it out. Out of that body, out of that shoulder, now in the name of Jesus. He sent his word and he healed them. I sent God's word. Be healed. Be healed. I command you right now to do that what you are not able to do. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. We pray and believe. Amen. Exercise yourself, sis. Alu. Exercise yourself. Sister Jane, it is well with you. Sister Susan, please, we listen. Morning, Papa. Morning, everyone. Good morning. I want to give God thanks for, for his protection around Amen. me and my kids. I thank God so much for everything that he has doing in these days in my life, for his care and protection. And I thank God also I couldn't be able to remember all my dreams. But now after I ask the prayer, I can remember all my dreams. I thank God for that. Wow. I asked prayer last time about uh, I was having sore throat. Now I'm fine. I thank God for that. And my kids, they were not feeling well, but now they are fine also. I give God glory. I give God thanks. Amen. God bless you, Papa. Amen. And I have, uh, I have a dream. Um, I went to shop two days ago. I find uh, the woman Amen. that... Uh, my husband staying in her house. So I tried to greet her. She couldn't. And then she refused to, to hold my hand. And then I left her, buy my thing, and then I come home. I pray in my heart. And then at night when I'm praying, I pray about her also. And last night I got a dream like uh, she, this was a, uh, wedding people are going to wedding and they buy a lot of stuff and then she's uh it's almost three bags of of uh, bed sheet and a lot of things she was buying them and then from there i came and then straight away she started fighting with me and then from there there's a woman she's my uncle wife but she's uh they're not together with my uncle right now she's the one is standing between us she said, I want to kill her. And my uncle, my uncle wife, she kept telling her, why you want to kill her? What she does to you? She just came here and you just straight away attacking her, what she does to you. And then she kept swearing on me and uh, people been keep, uh, they're holding her, they're taking her out, out from the room. She came inside from the window <laughs> and then she started uh, pulling my clothes. And then again, my uncle wife came. At the last, my uncle wife get the stone and then she hit her in her face and then she fell down. So from there, the people come and check us out the other rooms. And then I went to, the, there's a room. There's a, I don't know, there's a bag or something. He came like, I'm going to that room, in her room to steal something from her bag. And then when I went there, I tried to take something. And then I scared, I said, she will come now if I, if I take it. She will come now. If I take it, she will come now. And then I left the thing. I came out, and then I wake up from there. So that's my dream last night.
Mm. It is well. The Lord is showing you that uh, you don't need to fight her. What he say here is that you keep praying. God will fight for you. Whatever she may be planning, because her negative thought towards you, you know, the Bible makes us understand. Uh, when they curse you, you bless them. As a woman, as you know it, I've made you understand, don't think that she has good thought towards you as a woman. Even yeah. though you just hear us saying, but I believe your husband is moving out with that woman. And you know, when a woman is sharing a man, you cannot be a friend. Praise God, yeah. even though they have not just told you personally, but is moving out with her, so she may never want any good. But that what you wanted to take from the bag is what she's using, but we are going to pray uh, God to rise for your sake and protect. You don't fight her in any way, continue praying for her. The more you pray for her, God will reveal more things that I'm not supposed to tell you to yourself. But whatever you see, don't develop hatred. The more you continue praying for her, God will reveal and he will tell you what is next. Praise God. And I'm and so happy other, that God will restore your dream. Amen. And the other dream also, she, we are in the, is a wedding also. And then we are in the room. There's a two bed, a uh, single bed. And then there's, uh, in the middle, there's a small table. And then uh, I went to the kitchen to prepare the food for all the people. And then when I come with the food, the, 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 the plate it, is so big, it cannot be uh, able to fit in that place. And then I tell, she told me that I put it in the middle here. And then I tell her, this, this place is too small and I cannot put the thingy there. So he cannot be able to sit there. And then she said, put it there. And then from there, someone asked her there, uh, the, your brother went to Africa. And then she said, no, she didn't went because her wife here, she doesn't let, let, let him go. And then I look at her like this. And then I said, who? And then she said, you. I said, no, it's not me. I didn't say not go. He want to go to Africa, let him go. Because I'm already give up. I don't need him anymore. I left it for you and for the other woman in Africa there. Me, I'm taking care of my kids now. I don't have time for you guys. And then she said, really? I said, yes. She said, now, did you forgive me? I said, yeah, I forgive you from my heart. Then she said, you're going to hug me? I said, yeah, I'll hug you, but I'm going to prepare the food for other people. And then when I'm finished, I'll come and hug you. And then she was so happy. And she said, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that you now forgive me. And you said that you're going to hug me. I said, yeah, I forgive you from my heart. I don't have problem with you. Even my husband, I left it for you. And then she was enjoying the dream. And then I wake up and then I'm like, where did I get her again? And what, what the connection again? For a long time, I didn't see her. And then I saw her two days ago again. But I thank God God in control now. Yeah, I pray that he, the peace of God continue to reign in your heart. You know, the best way to fight any battle, once God give you peace, if somebody you know it doesn't like you when you see them you don't have bad feelings towards them just not deliver the victory have come because you are no longer bothered and that's what i pray you are no longer bothered you can have joy with your children you can eat your food you can sleep you can have time to read your bible and pray then you wait to see god's hand enemy want you to be offended because if you are offended you are troubled even your children will be asking, Mommy, what is happening? Yeah. Yeah. And in such a state, you cannot pray. But once you are happy, you can pray, you can have fun with your children, and people who do not want to see any good out of you, they will be wondering, what is happening with this woman? Yeah. Praise God. And they, actually, they will start thinking, say, ah, oh, you have a new man, or oh, you have a boyfriend, such things, not knowing that Jesus <laughs> has taken over. Mm. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so God will reveal more things about them, but that's what God is making you understand completely in your heart.
forgive her. You understand? Forgive Amen. her completely. Give the man. You know how it feels. It's very painful. Uh, it's not easy, but according to the word of Jesus, you remember when I read Psalm 66, verse 17, it say, if I have cherished iniquity in my heart, God will not hear me, which means if I hold someone, if you hold. So God is speaking to you, just forgive them and Amen. leave them. Then me leaving them, it means you are leaving it for God. It doesn't bother, but you pray for them. Praise God. Amen. I yeah. thank God so much. Because that what you had I used couldn't, to... I couldn't able to to stand with her in one place like if i find her in the shop i have to turn the way i left the way for her and i go out the way and sometimes when i see her like this <laughs> my heart is, is beating very fast i couldn't even i come and cry even i can vomit blood sometimes so i'm like really what is that kind of hatred about this woman or what she have done i don't hit people in that way but for her no nah. Seeing I came 2013 when I was pregnant with my first boy, when she passed like this, I cry all day. I thought baby because I was pregnant, but this thing is start for a long time. <laughs> so yeah. but two days ago when I met her is the first time. I'm not angry. I don't even I don't change the way the, the the way that she came. She was coming inside and I'm going outside, but I stand to greet her and then she said. She looked at me how and then she laughed. I said, thank God. It's the first time my heart didn't beating very fast. So I thank God for that. Something changed in my heart. One more scary thing in this life is that if somebody have issues against you, if they realize that you are no longer bothered with their, what they do, it makes them not being comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, it makes them get disturbed. Say, what has happened to this? What have happened? Yeah. So we pray for you. Uh, Amen. God will reveal more, and just leave everything in the hands of God. So we pray for you. Amen. Yeah. Don't forget to forgive them. Even if they Amen. don't say sorry, just forgive them. Then the right time, people, you will see people apologizing. Mm. Father, in the name of Jesus, you are a God who reveal. Thank you for restoring the gift of dream. I continue to ask you to reveal more of yourself to her, that she may stand firm. I speak in her heart, the heart of forgiveness, the heart of love, because you say love those who hate you. Father, in the name of Jesus, say if you are enemy, thirst, give them water to drink. May you help her to have that heart to give their, the enemies water. I speak in your life whatever you desire as a woman, may God provide. May God continue to strengthen you. Whatever troubles you, if there is anything I've been deposited in your tongue, I feel funny. I command it to be flushed out. If there is anything they deposited in you to render you useless, this very day I command it to be flushed out. Any witchcraft done against you, I command it to catch fire. Anywhere they have tied you in that cage, I command that cage be open. I command that cage be open. I command that cage be open. I command that cage be open in the name of Jesus. I hold the key that belongs to David. I release you. I release your future. I release your career. I release your children. I release everything has to do with you. I release your marriage in the name of Jesus. You are no longer under control of demon. You are no longer under manipulation. You are no longer under domination. You are a child of God. From this time forth I declare Whoever rises against you, rise against God. May God silence every plan of enemy concerning you. Negative declaration against you be canceled. I declare this day, you will not lack or beg to eat, but you'll have plenty to share. As they call you a woman of sadness, 
I name you today woman of joy and peace. They will ask and say what really happened. Then they will answer knowing that Jesus visited you. You are a new child from time forth now in Jesus' name. Amen. We rejoice with you for what the Lord has done for you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. May, may the peace of the Lord continue to be with you. Yeah, we share together salvation. Salvation is word abiding in us and we abide in it. Remember, better is not good enough. The best is yet to come in Jesus' name. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet flesh of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all days of our life and we shall be in the house forever. Amen. Amen.